Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Cowboy Bebop episode number 11 and 12. In the previous episode, two things happened. Number one is like we got to meet a new character who will be the teammate, like our teammate, that is Ed. And another thing that happened was like we got to know about um, Jet's backstory, uh, Jet's past and the things that happened with him. So both were pretty interesting like um, like the thing with Ed, well, like she is kind of a hacker, and uh, yeah, she is kind of a hacker and like more like uh, fitted towards the technological things. All of those, like she'll be like a great addition to the team, be team because obviously like they are handling spaceships and everything, so there is like a pretty big part that she can play. And uh, obviously, then in the next episode we got to see like Jet's backstory, what happened with him and like uh like what happened with the girl that he once like loved and like everything we got to see and um i have to say like jet did the correct thing and he acted like uh like what can i say acted without any bias and did whatever that was best for the like uh, both of them uh, the lady and uh, his her new boyfriend so yeah so yeah guys um without further ado uh, let's get started with episode number 11 of Kawa Bebop. Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm. One thing I have like noticed is like Cowboy Beepers is extremely what can I say calm like uh, like serious things uh, are happening and everything is like uh, like there are funny things serious things emotional things that are happening but it is like able to like continue the like calm what can I say the calm atmosphere like the uh yeah that atmosphere of the whole uh, like episodes each and every episode and like i don't know like this is quite um like new like usually in anime uh like either it's like extremely hyperactive or like slow paced but this is able to like do it properly and like uh maintain the pace the calmness and still like uh show a good story so yeah <laughs> Okay, what is that noise? What's happening? It's so dark. Is this supposed to be this dark? I can't see anything. Toys in the attic. Oh, that sounds like a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> Self-employed. Yeah. <clears throat> Gambling. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. Oh, they're like gambling against each other? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just ripped him all of all the clothes. <laughs> oh, is Spike like doing some cooking? Hmm. 
aus. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, well Spike was unable to cook properly. What the the mice? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you should not like try to take shortcuts. <laughs> I hope you like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a fridge? Oh. Okay, something's going to happen. Is this some kind of like a uh, rodent infestation or something? Oh, uh, I guessed it. She cheated somehow. My god, this girl. Okay. <laughs> this dog. Okay, I'm guessing rats. Yeah, mice. Oh, it's not her mice. <laughs> There's some kind of mutated being, like some new kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh. okay, legit. It would, it would take a lake of money. Uh. What the? Yeah, like <laughs> there must be worse. Oh, <laughs> this dog always gets the short end of the stick. Like somehow something bad happens always to him. <laughs> um. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Both are bad. <laughs> How does it taste? <laughs> oh, that thing. Okay, so. God damn it. Uh, 
Okay, so like something poisoned him. No, I don't think rats have this kind of poison. Oridium. Olera? Oh. Oh my god. I don't know what that is. Poor Ryan. <laughs> yeah, it can be like a new species or something. Who knows? Well, she knows a lot about biology as well, so. Yeah, I was thinking that, like, some kind of mutated thing. <laughs> this dog. Oh, wait a minute. What the? Um, I don't think you should ignore that. But now you have to find <laughs> No one's listening to Ayn There it is There it is, isn't it? But he didn't like notice that? Oh my god, she got bitten. Yeah. For the antidote, you need to like capture. Um, what? Yeah, you should like uh, tie a tonic or something so that the um, poison doesn't spread. Okay. Well, this is like a horror kind of theme this episode has. A Lesson three. What? <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, it threw the thing down.
Okay, iron is cracking it by smell. Oh no. Oh no, iron might get beaten. Yeah, iron also got bitten. Or like infected or something. Yeah. They also got like Oh boy. What are they? Look like slime kind of thing like Yeah, they look like slime. Are they invisible to naked eye? No, we saw it, like shadow type of thing. Ooh, yeah, it is like a slime. Hmm. What is it? Like Oh, <laughs> he's all prepared. <laughs> lesson for what is it with the lessons? Copilot. Hmm. Hey, what the hell did Ed go like? He was there. Oh. oh oh yeah is she like um drop that no she dropped it simply Oh, what is that? Like a black tar? Oh, this oil, isn't it? Or is it? Oh, there it is. Uh. And, uh, a net cannot catch that thing. Like it's like liquid. Oh boy. Oh, you dropped it. So bad luck. Um. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah, it is kind of like a slime. You get it? Yeah, you need like fire to like burn down slimes. Gone. Now the question is like are there more of them? Seems 
familiar. What? There might be like more of them. What? Oh. Oh, is it like rotten or something? Is it coming from that? Okay. <laughs> uh. Take that and burn it down. <laughs> the whole refrigerator. Dispose it off. Okay. Oh, it is also like. Is it really disposing it off? Like in space? Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, that thing. Okay, open it. Oh no. Just quick, open that. Like, we'll suck it off. Yeah, the outer. And kick it just like you have to like kick it yeah there you go but one like a little bit of slime is still left in the spaceship so okay Uh, hang on to it for a little bit. Okay, he's safe. Ah. But should you have like really like disposed it in outer space? And what about the like Poison that is okay. Oh, please don't eat that. Okay, oh. <laughs> what's going to happen to like get and uh, hey. What? <laughs> okay, Spike, you polluted the whole space. <laughs> Wait, that was the episode? <laughs> that was really like... Kind of like an um, unusual episode. <laughs> okay. Well, I was not expecting uh, like an episode like that at all.
Okay. That is the end of this episode. Yeah, this is episode number um eleven, and well um that was odd. Like um like, I don't know. Like it did not have like a, this episode did not have like a conclusion. Like we don't know what happened to uh like Jet Fei and um Ayn and uh, Ed. Like what actually happened after that? Or I'm guessing like this is uh like a little bit of um like a kind of like a filler episode i'm guessing not filler but um like i'm i'm sure like this like the original uh post material had this portion as well but uh it is like i think it kind of acts like a little break type of episode because obviously like a few things happened in the previous episodes and this was like um given to us for like taking a little like a step back and uh like calming ourselves down like yeah something more it's probably like uh going to happen later on this was like to uh for like a breathing space for us and um like uh usually like uh like these kind of episodes have kind of like a conclusion we get to like understand what the actual punchline was but i don't know like <laughs> Like I, I like I get it. Like they, they were trying to like um, joke about the fact that uh, leaving things in the refrigerator for a long time should not be done. Like bad things can happen, and um, like stuff like that. But like a few th questions there are. Like uh, number one, like what was that like poison thing? Like what is that like some kind of a new, um, like new kind of a poison, or was that something like harmless? And they will probably like get better later on like only it's like only affecting them for the time being and later on they're probably going to become like all right as time passes on so was that that or was like something else like uh like that was like a big question we don't know and um, i doubt like that is like i i think like from the next episode everything will be like fine and everything and uh they'll be like all okay and they would probably not like like explain whatever the hell that was like that kind of like purple like like patch that they had like in their skin like Faye had it in her uh leg and um uh, jet had it on his neck so like what the hell that actually was was it really some kind of like a poisonous thing or something else like we don't know we'll probably also not get to know later on because obviously like, this uh, episode was uh, kind of like a little uh, break type of episode we're getting so yeah like a lot of questions so that thing <laughs> like it really looked like a slime and uh, I'm guessing mutation as like spike said like uh, it kind of like mutated I'm like the lobster or that thing whatever that thing was Kind of like mutated after so much time and uh became like that and uh, <laughs> and uh, like the condition of the refrigerator my god what the hell was that like um <laughs> like that reminded me of like um I don't know if you guys like if you guys have like I, I play, obviously like I play video games and all. Uh, if you guys have like played uh, Resident Evil Seven or not, so if you guys have played <laughs> in that game, there is a refrigerator like that in like an abandoned house where you have to like there, <laughs> like the condition of this refrigerator was similar as that when you like open that like slimy kind of thing and whatever the like <laughs> like sticky kind of things are like uh placed like uh, there and it's all like uh like scattered around in inside the refrigerator <laughs> um <laughs> yeah and oh another thing that like ed uh, like un like <laughs> the last slime that was left ed ate that and i don't know like whether she'll get her stomach upset or not but if she doesn't get her stomach upset like hats off to her everyone was like poisoned by that thing just touching it and like she ate it completely <laughs> yeah okay that was like this was just like a fun little episode nothing much obviously like nothing has happened 
and this is just like that so yeah guys um we'll be starting episode number this is episode number 11 yeah uh, okay so we'll be uh, starting episode number 12 of cowboy bebop so all right so yeah um okay uh, i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started with episode number 12 of cowboy bebop okay so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> i was really not expecting the previous episode like how it actually happened i was thinking like maybe they were like uh going to <laughs> like uh face like a, a kind of like an infestation of something but slimes that was like a really <laughs> um surprise like slimes are kind of like a more of a like uh what can i say uh, fantastical like uh, thing like these like slimes are usually seen in like um, like dungeon crawlers or um, RPG games and like which are like more in like a fantastical setting with magic and like ogres goblins stuff like these so seeing like slime in a futuristic uh, science uh, like uh, uh, like science fiction kind of thing like in this like setting uh, like in a spaceship that was like surprising. I was probably thinking like uh, there might be like mice which are like mutated or something and it became like kind of like a monster kind of thing. So, but no, it was slimes. So yeah. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, some smoke. Hmm, what is that? Cool. of a ward. One who has finished the battle song. Okay. Wow. Oh, it's yeah. This is yeah. Vision. Who is this? Once will. Wow, our new actor's name. In. Oh, Kalis is a planet's name. Wait, that's vicious? It looks a bit different or am i like mistaken this like voice is also like sounds different or or am i like 
mistaking it. One of the red track. Jupiter Jazz Part One. Oh, okay. So this will be like a multiple part thing. Damn. Iron is like obviously like the dog, so it's going to feel more hot. Right down. Please don't look. Wait, they went someone else again? Oh my god. <laughs> well, you have to find her now. Okay. Who? Do grow. Oh. What? Okay. Oh! <laughs> Poor Ayn. <laughs> well, Faye can handle herself, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh. What was the name of oh God? Um Julia. Yeah. It was Julia, it wasn't it? Wow, everyone's like wearing masks. Oh, not not everyone. Two of them.
Okay. <laughs> I'd rather be with an armadillo. <laughs> Wait, no? What? Oh boy. Well. Also, wait. So Ed said something like there are like no women here. <laughs> Oh, it's the same place. What happened? She. Oh, this guy. I'm. I'm guessing like uh, he was talking about him. What? Oh. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. Oh, in this town, okay. And I'm guessing like uh, Spike is going to come here and they're probably like going to miss each other, like uh, Spike and Faye, or like they'll bump into each other and. Okay, they're like probably going to like rob him or something. Try to. Oh, what is this? Like they're all following him in a like straight line. Yeah, he's mad. <laughs> okay. Damn. Oh. Woo. Run for your lives. Can't do anything. From grand to vicious. Oh, that was a code name. Oh, my God. Okay, code word. Oh, 
Um. <laughs> okay. Gren. Oh, Grencia. I'm guessing the same. Double bonus. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Um, yep. Like is not here. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, why? <laughs> You're thinking like he also has a bounty on his head or something like that. Oh my god, she's going to beat them up. Oh my god, they got beaten up by <laughs> Spike now. Oh, Gren came here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. What the hell is that? <sighs> oh yep. well he hit the like Do you have some kind of allergy or something? <laughs> the one thing, like, I'm guessing, like, Vicious used, um, like, Julia's name because 
did he like want to lure in a spike or something that might be the case like kind of like use the same trick before as well Wait, the spike isn't it? No, 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 just a sec, or I'm mistaking it. Oh no, that was not spike. Was that or not? Like. Oh boy, here we go again, like this will be pretty pretty bad, like previously Spike also got injured. What's here in this town? Wait, wait, that's a lady? Is it, is it, wait. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, a lot of things are happening. Like at the same time what happened the miss or like oh my god that's like a cliffhanger no oh no Okay, so so first of all, like they used um what can I say um vi like vicious used uh, Julia's name to lure in Spike. I'm guessing as well, but uh, he also kind of said that Ju Julia was here previously. So yeah, like a lot of things are kind of um still not clearly. Uh, explained in this episode i'm guessing we're probably going to get one or two ma more episodes related to this like this was part one so one or two more episodes and probably everything will be uh, clearly explained in those episodes so yeah I feel like uh, one thing I'm quite like what can I say like because then I'm doing like two episodes in one video uh, it takes quite a bit of time to like uh, like for my like uh, impressions to express my impressions but usually like uh, because I'm doing two episodes and I have to like do two uh, impressions and at the same time like it takes uh, quite a long time yeah it's the end uh, for uh, like the like video to end as well it almost like becomes one or more hours and rendering takes a lot of time so i usually like cut it short but like my impressions because of like this uh like uh, otherwise like it will take like forever to render uh, that's why also like usually my uh, uploads of like cowboy bebop episode are quite uh like inconsistent like one day like it's like uh like one hour or two hour it is like uh inconsistent inconsistent like that so because of that like it takes so much time like to render that uh 
the schedule gets like messed up so yeah okay i'll like keep it short because obviously like um yeah so in this episode um as always like Faye went uh on her own way because i'm guessing like as like she has some kind of uh thing like in the past in her past m maybe some kind of thing happened to her where like which kind of makes her uh unable to like not trust but get close to people like she does not want and most probably like she lost someone or something uh previously so now like she's uh like scared to go like grow close to people because as she said like they'll like like uh, they might like go away or betray her stuff like that uh not betraying i'm, I'm guessing guessing it like she might like have had lost someone previously uh like like uh she like she seems sad like if she was like kind of like an angry kind of like had a cat like uh uh behavior uh, like here she was like all melancholic and like all sad and everything and that kind of like makes me think uh that yeah she might have lost someone not like someone did not be did not betray her uh, because if someone betrayed her and like she did not want to grow close to people because of the fear of betrayal that would be more like a fear and like an anger kind of emotion she would have had but she is more like like sad and uh, like uh, that, like that type of emotion she's having so most probably she lost someone uh, like someone died or something happened i'm guessing this is just my guess and uh, either of those two must have happened so as she said uh, to grant that uh, like what exactly did she say yeah like uh, she said that uh, everyone like she was like joking like everyone uh, fights over me and gren said something like um you're afraid of growing close to people uh yeah where is it where did it go yeah she said he said something like i can't find it now uh so he yeah he basically said something like that that you are uh, afraid of growing close to people because uh that's the reason why yeah like you are uh, trying to keep a distance maintain a distance uh, with them and uh, so like um okay yeah what else uh the thing with uh, julia like uh obviously like something must have happened in uh, spike's past and uh, through the various little bits and pieces of backstory we got to see uh, julia most probably like uh is a central part of his backstory so like he immediately like after hearing her name uh, rushed out to uh, go find her so and obviously like vicious knew that and i'm guessing like they are like using uh, julia as a code name to like uh, do their own thing like they ha must have like have a mission which they are probably like doing here uh, like they're like meeting with grand and everything they must have had a mission and that and at the same time also like uh, luring in they're trying to lure in spike so as he did before he did like a similar similar kind of thing like this before as well so like they're trying to like um get two birds in one stone and uh, yeah jet like kind of became mad obviously but uh, like uh like jet has to understand like each and every person has like his or own her own circumstances just like jet had his own circumstance with that uh, lady with his past and he must have had like he must have more circumstances or more like kind of like past something as well which we don't know so we only got to see uh, a little bit of his black backstory there might be more uh, so who knows and uh, so like he has like obviously like he understands that uh, spike he must know like uh, spikes what whatever happened to spikes past because he said something like uh, there are like many people with that name that is like a common name so like he knows like uh, something he must know something about uh, spikes past so he said something like that and they're like traveling for three years so yeah and obviously like uh, there will be like uh, like fighting when you are fighting or like uh, inconsistencies in like their um, uh, what can i say in their plans and everything like one might not uh, completely agree with the another uh, with another uh, this, because this happens like there's like a one thing that i think like uh whenever like you're new with people like you, you have like a new friend 
you try to like uh, keep up your like a good kind of uh, uh, what can I say behavior with them because obviously like you are like talking with them obviously because you want to be friends with them so you always like try to keep your best behavior uh, for like uh, the first couple of months when you're like new friends with them but after like one year two year passes you like then suddenly like it changes and sometimes you like have like fights with them like you quarrel with them why does this happen because obviously now that like such a long time have passed you know what he is like and like your friendship is at like a such a strong like it has, has like developed into such a strong bond that you know that even if you like fight or quarrel with that guy like you forgive each other one like uh, at the end so that is why like you fight and like you quarrel after like so much time like if you have like fought or quarreled in like one or two months after meeting they would have like uh, the, your bond would have been broken and you would have like been like went in your separate ways like that would have happened because your like bond is not as strong as uh, like you're just, like completely new friends so like uh, there is like a thing like the Japanese says as well like uh, because like you're so good friends that you like fight to each other like uh, nakagai I'm forgetting uh, the actual Japanese words nakagai uh, something kenka suru something like that um <laughs> I, I don't know anyways like it is something basically something like that that you are so good friends that you are you fight with each other something like that so jet and uh, uh spike is like that like they have like obviously like uh spent three years uh traveling and everything and uh, the bond is quite strong so obviously like they will have uh, quarrels and like fights and they will also like sulk and not talk to each other or like I uh, try to ignore each other but like in the end they'll obviously like make up and become good friends again that's the uh but like uh Faye and um uh all of like uh like uh, spike and um, um jet they are like they're quite new friends so obviously like Faye knows that they are good people but at the same time she is like hesitating and everything because something pro probably because something in her past or something and uh, yeah so yeah that was basically it and this guy Gren has like a bounty and it's probably like uh, it says something like it being doubled or something and uh, so like they're probably like cats try to catch him later on I'm guessing uh, probably Jet will try to catch him because uh, Spike is more uh, what can I say involved in uh, vicious like the things with vicious and uh, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Faye. Faye doesn't even know that she, uh, like he has a bounty. He only knows the fact that Vicious and uh, Gren are related to each other, and they're like, uh, like they're allies. So that's why, like, she tried to um, <clears throat> stop him her on her own, like pointing her gun. But both of them does not know about anything about Gren. So the only person that knows about Gren having a bounty is Jet. So I'm guessing probably Jet will also like uh, run into him and he'll probably try to catch him. Who knows? Just like all guesses. And uh, we'll probably see in the next episode what actually happens. And oh, another thing that happened was like um, I got shot. I'm guessing. I don't know what happened at the end. Like they like like the gun. They shot the gun and then. We suddenly see like Spike uh, lying down, yeah. and uh, like Spike knew the other guy. Uh, what was he called? Lin. Lin, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, uh, like he said something like he was like under working under him. Obviously, like, Spike had kind of like a spot, soft spot for him, so like Vicious took advantage of that. Uh, so yeah guys that was this episode I'm not like talking much because obviously it's like it will take quite a long time to render so I usually like keep uh, like these episodes uh, the uh, discussions for these episodes a bit short because of that so yeah guys that was this episode this was episode number 11 and 12 of cowboy bebop and it like ended it in like big cliffhanger and uh, probably next week we'll like get to see whatever like what happened actually well what's going to happen so yeah guys so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed 
uh, please be sure to do so and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out and uh, so yeah guys i'll be back with two new episodes of cowboy bebop next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day